WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento for TFNN today. We've got a jumping around market today, down a little bit, up a little bit. Uh, looks like uh, we've got the stock market is down, uh, not substantially the Dow Jones is still hanging in there pretty good. But the uh, NASDAQ and the S&P have been beaten up just a little bit. Uh, we have bonds. I haven't even checked bonds today, folks. I've been too involved with so many other things that I didn't know which one to pick. Anyway, um, we also had a, a slight bottom in gold. We're trying to buy gold at 1938. But let me, uh, oh, dear. I wanted to show you the importance of one chart. And let me get this up here because if we break this low, this is not going to be a happy day in River City. Let me just show you what I'm talking about, folks. This is the E-mini S&P. Going back over the last five or six days, and of course it would never pop up on the first go around. Joe DiNapoli will be our guest here uh, at the break, and he'll have some great charts. But uh, you'll notice here today's low. Come on, kids, let's get this right. There it is. There's your low, folks. Exactly 61% retracement. We rallied up to the 382. And now, if we get below this, uh, we're looking at something real serious, folks. We get below that uh, 4335 one more time, and especially close below there, going to be really nasty. So you don't want to get involved too much in that. Uh, you know, we've been down for five days. We're very oversold. We could hold, and that, that's certainly a possibility. But, you know, we have to wait and see, do one thing at a time as we look at these things unfolding each day. Now, there's also, I'd like to mention that... Uh, the, uh, there is no economic uh, data today, as I recall, but tomorrow there's some important economic data, data coming out. I wrote it down, and I can't find the piece of paper, but uh, it'll be probably at the usual time at about 8.30, so be prepared. But remember now, we're in a strong downtrending market in some of these things with the exception of the Dow. And the fact that, that, that Apple gave up 3% and the Dow was still up on the day. You got to give those boys a lot of credit over there in Wall Street. That when they move these markets, they can certainly move them in the direction that they they like to see them go. So, now remember that number we're looking at today is uh, 44, uh, 35. If we get below that on a closing basis, we're going sharply lower uh, into next week. Remember, September is not a good month for stocks. We'll be right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bonds.